Oh my goodness, you guys. What is going on? It's Kelly. We got Finley in the truck and we are here in Key West. Who are you? You know who I am. <laughs> so Zach and I carpooled and we're meeting Nikki and Cooper down here in Key West. Nikki is planning a surprise Dirty 30 birthday party for her boyfriend Cooper. No money. <laughs> Yeah. That's it, because you take big poop. <laughs> Holy poop, it's your birthday. Oh. <laughs> big pooper. <laughs> Serious pooper. We're going to stay at CJ's house, which if you guys watch the channel, you already know who CJ is. But I do want to make a little bit of a pit stop to visit the Key West locals here behind the Wind dixie Right there under that tree. They're so cute. Oh, they're looking at you. I think they don't like to go on the road. I think they yeah, like gosh. they like their little uh, their shade under the tree here. And yes, my ankle is still busted. Hi. Come here, guys. There's a lot going on. There's three of them. Is that one up? Right there. Um. So the yeah. So nubs coming in. Yeah. So the one in the middle is a button buck and then two females it looks like oh wait no the one in the there's two button bucks oh, so they on. might come over here a lot of people do feed these deer but you'll notice has they, they don't have antlers right now but two of them have little like bumps on their head and we call them button bucks come here guys <laughs> oh Aww. they're coming come here it looks like there's like a bunch of trucks loading into uh, Winn Dixie right now, so there's a lot going on. Oh, here he comes. Do you think they speak Spanish? I'll try. What are you going to say? El tiro. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, oh my wow. goodness. Look. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hi. <laughs> hey, buddy. Aww. <laughs> he got scared of the truck. He did. That's like a full grown one, right? Yeah, they're all full grown. Well, that one's probably a yearling right there. Yes, he's a lot the skinny. The skinny one. Look at this one. Look at his coat. Hi. There's so I want one for my backyard so bad. Actually, this might be Mama, and I that might be her two little her ones. Two babies. Yeah. Mm. They're cute. So the key deer here in the Florida Keys, they're only in the lower part, kind of the big pine area. They're not in Key West. I've never seen one in Key West. It's kind of weird how they don't actually cross like the bridges or anything to get to any of the other keys. But here in Big Pine, you have to drive really slow because they do come out on the roads. Obviously, they don't want you hitting the deer. But if you go into any like the neighborhoods or any like wooded area, you'll most likely find these key deer here hanging out. Winn Dixie's the go-to because every time I come behind Winn Dixie, they're always here. You always gotta stop in and say hello to the locals. <laughs> All right, but right now we're gonna get to Key West and we are gonna do some spearfishing. I'm not gonna be doing any spearfishing because y'all already know. I almost got that, but I'm team busted over here. So we're gonna go spearfishing for a little bit. The weather is not in our favor whatsoever. It's super windy, super choppy, super rough. So we're gonna go spearfishing. And then the following day, we're gonna pull some stone crab traps. So y'all, just watch. Dudes. Can you can oh, we tell everyone here. how 
nice of a day it is right now. Well, on video it never does it justice, but no. this is sloppy, dude. Dude, sloppy. it's like three to five foot chop, and then we got off the reef, and then it was just like five foot rollers Look at this roller. that Look were at this stacked. One right here. The video never does justice. Like, I think because the, the GoPro has image stabilization and it just never looks that rough when it's on camera, but it is not pretty out here. We have the whole crew today. I was thinking about getting in the water. Um, unfortunately, my ankle is still messed up. It's still pretty sprained. And it's been, it's two days shy of five weeks since I've been it, which is kind of insane. Basically since I last left you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> since I said goodbye. That's it. Literally, it sucks. Um, I do not recommend spraining your ankle if you're a very active person. It really, really sucks, but everyone's getting geared up. I recommend it. <laughs> no, no, it sucks. It's still a little bit, it's still pretty swollen around the ankle part right here. And then I can only point it like that much. So. I have Finley with me. He's at CJ's house right now. It's just way too rough to bring a dog on a boat, let alone a bunch of humans. So, well, I'm hoping that my okay. crew shoots a fish for you guys because I probably will not be getting in the water at this spot. I think when we go to the reef and maybe try to do some lobster, I might try to get in there with one fin and just kind of swim around and see what I can get, but. You're already prone to entry. I just don't know why we thought it was a good idea to put Kelly on this boat. She's just gonna get <laughs> so hurt out here. <laughs> Watch your head. We should put a helmet on you. Dude. Oh, fun fact. So I went out on Cooper and Nikki's boat like two weeks after I sprained my ankle just to get out of the house. And he has, a, what is the boat called? Axopar. Axopar. And it has like a big cabin in the center of the boat and there's sliding glass doors on the cabin. I tied. I tied Finley's leech to the door handle and I had my fingers right in the track of the sliding glass door. Oh, yeah, I forgot that's why it happened because Finley ran <laughs> for and slammed the door on your fingers. We're just froze. Yeah. And I looked down and thought her fingers were on the ground. <laughs> yeah, my feet, all three of my fingers were just, and the door was locked. Like it was not moving. It was locked onto my fingers and I'm, I just gave up on yeah, life like, there. Super. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was rough. Oh my yeah. gosh. But there is absolutely no, we're the only people out on the water right now. So, we'll see. Heck yeah, no, you're good. That's a solid mutton. Yeah, good. Nice absolutely one. exploded him on the hula so. What's that? Just exploded him on the hula so. How deep? Seven. Nice. So, for the Wahoo drifting was a no-go. There was absolutely no current. The water was a little fuzzy, so we're anchored up right now. And we went ahead and oh, dropped some Oh, nice mutton. Yeah, big one. Yeah, man. Solid. Dude, definitely you know gut and gill that sucker. Dang. <laughs> we'll take that though. Yeah, that's a stud. Is there a lot of fish? Yeah. What kind of fish down there? Uh, there's tons. Of, dude, you want to see some big yellowtails? They're down there. Oh, I knew there were yellowtails down tons there, Zach. <laughs> I told Zach I want a 17 inch yellow tail snapper. <laughs> but I'll show you guys on the fish scanner right here. You see all that little Thanks. rubble <laughs> right above the bottom there? It's just a bunch of snappers just chummed up under the boat. So, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Gosh, it's still rocking out here, especially being anchored up. But we have Nikki and Cooper. Zach and CJ's friend Nate in the water right now, and Eric just shot the stud. First fish in the boat today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yee! Skitty doo! And on to a new segment of today's video that is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Now, this right here is the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. It's their newest edition of the male trimmer. Now, did you know that 85% of women prefer their men trim below the belt? So this is why I'm here showing you this. It's all my lady viewers and men viewers, the perfect gift for the holidays because they are coming up. I'm here to show you this, the gold standard of groin grooming. Now, as we open this beautiful box, we remove this paper and we have the trimmer itself, which is super small, perfect for your hand and just absolutely easy to use. Check this out. 
oh yeah. Manscaped also has other products for men's hygiene, such as shampoo and conditioner. And nose and ear trimmers, ball deodorants, ball toning, and many other products for your men. And on top of these skin safe technology to help reduce nicks and cuts where they matter most, check this out. There's a light. There's actually, wait, two different lights. Do, do, a yellow light and a white light to help you see. And another really cool thing about the Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0. Finley, do you hear the buzzer? Finley literally wants to get his paws trimmed. <laughs> oh my gosh, this might be good for me. Another point is that it is waterproof. So you can use this in the shower, which I feel like is like killing two birds with one stone because you're in the shower cleaning and then you can shave. So if you guys are interested in Manscaped, I will have a link in the description below this video for 20% off. Use my discount code and get to shopping. So check out the link below this video. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me see that thing. Dude. <laughs> Hold it up. That might be a record. Oh <laughs> it tanked them underwater. <laughs> Zach, how's your mouth? Oh my god, dude, I'm crying. Oh, man of war? Oh, what happened? <laughs> you, must have in the <laughs> <laughs> you guys, oh my gosh. This is my setup right here. Uh, I'm chilling on two bean bags getting a tan. It's true. It's the sashimi size, I don't care what you say. Dude, just bleed it and gut it. I, it right. I hope that thing didn't bend your shaft. Oh, no, I might have hey, to um, check. <laughs> Cooper got wrapped by a man or jellyfish oh, on his I'm face Cooper earlier. Zach. Freaking out, and now Zach just got stung. I told Zach to go hey, down and shoot hey, me a grunt. Oh, Alright. Let me see. Oh, you said she a grunt. Here you go. Nice white margate. Oh, that is a nice white margate. Got him. I don't mind making that nose. This bigger. is my grunt. Woo! He's pooping. Was, White Margate yeah, is a delicious, a delicious good. fish. Woo! Oh! Man! Nice! Cooper's birthday. Hey, let me fix my hair. <laughs> it's the following day right now. Last night we went out to downtown Key West and it was like some type of Christmas boat show, lights in the streets on the docks. It was absolutely beautiful. And right now we're taking it easy. We're doing a little bit of a sandbar day and we are pulling stone crab traps. Yeah, I'm Nikki. Ooh nice. <laughs> we got a boat full of people right now and look who's on the boat with us hi Finn Finley's super excited to go to the sandbar today I do have him tied up here because as you guys know stone crab traps are super messy and I feel like Finley loves to get stinky we also have Daisy we got Daisy girl here um that's CJ's dog so she's actually oh so <laughs> if any light reflects off of a GoPro or a phone and Daisy sees it, she is on it, like white on rice. She's part cat. She's, she is part cat. Look at her. My, the, the sun was reflecting off the GoPro and she's trying to look for that light now. <laughs> it's so cute. All right. We got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine people on the I think, boat. I think the US Coast Guard limit is 10, so I think we're okay. I think we're good. <laughs> it's a big enough boat. Nikki, what'd you get? Huh? Did you get good ones? Ah, nice. Check this one out. That right there. This one popped off, but you'll pay probably sixty dollars for one claw at a really nice crab restaurant in Florida. What you doing? Grab Nikki. Grab Nikki. Oh, you got. He's warmed up. 
Yeah, he is. <laughs> These things can hurt, dude. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Come on. See, now now the, the tension's there. Now it's spooky. Yeah, that was a nice paw, too. Yeah, they're good crabs. Oh, that was... Oh, no. Yeah. Ooh. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. fine. I'm fine. You just pulled a Kelly Young right there. I did. If you guys watch the channel, you know I get pinched by everything. There we go. You're just accident prone nice. in general. Listen, <laughs> I know. <laughs> she she signs a liability form on every boat she goes on. The captains know better. <laughs> just got my first claw. I saw. Oh, what? Ow. No, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, you're gonna pinch me with a claw. Oh, he's trying to pop it. First time ever stone crab. Nice. That's your first stone claw? Yeah, let one of the stone crabs. Oh my god. Please clean it afterwards because you're gonna get an abscess. Oh, that's so gnarly. Oh! It's not done, it's not done. Yo, we're gonna eat that. Stop it. Clean it, eat it, eat it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. That's cool. There was a yeah, it got a gnarly yeah. infection. <laughs> this is weird. We got this. Yeah, we such just a don't big... know how it happened. Oh my god. Oh, oh, you just like got that. stoned, dude. <laughs> Dude, there was a gnarly white head on Zach's back. That was pretty epic, actually. You might be the first person ever to get a pimple popped by a stone crab claw. You know, some people are into that. We're making history. Popping pimples. And <laughs> with crab claws. There's about millions of people who are into Watch pimple what, popping. Thumbnail title, Watch What We Did With This Crab Claw. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dr. Pimple Popper ain't got nothing on us. So. <laughs> Strictly organic pimple popping. <laughs> baby crab. There's a lot in here. Yeah, Whoa. not- oh. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Dang. So the main thing when you pull these, these claws off these crabs is if you see this little joint right here, you don't want to rip that joint out of the body of the crab. If you rip that joint out, the crab will die. If you apply pressure to that joint and snap the claw, that joint will allow the crab to reglow, reglow, regrow his claw back. There's also a technique, I've done it on the channel like two years ago, I kind of forgot though, where you like stick something in his joint right here. Yeah, you use the other claw and you Poke it stab it. Yeah, right stab there. the other joint and he'll actually shake it off. It'll sever the nerve. Is it right there though? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll sever the nerve and he'll actually just shake that claw. Try a little bit higher on the joint. Oh, oh, there he is. is. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big, oh my gosh. Two cool. hours later. <laughs> 87 years later. Yeah. We're going to leave Better the other claw on him. Dang, this is bigger than my hand. Yeah. So, it doesn't really say much, but. <laughs> you are technically allowed to take both claws to a crab. However, some t some people leave one claw on the crab. It's not illegal. You can take both. Nice. That's a good one. Good grab. Good grab. All right, ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh. There's another one. Nice. nice. You can just put. So that's kind of what I do is I I hold the crab against my body and I put pressure with my middle finger and then one hard and it snaps. That claw was huge though, so it was a little too strong for me. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. All right. Just toss them up. So, so so. There you go. Ahead and toss it back in. Nice. Dude. When you put 
the traps back in the water, you want to make sure they float down with the cement down. Because a lot of times people will throw the traps back and then they're like upside down or crooked or something like that. So far we've pulled about four or five traps and we have a nice little mess of claws, but we do have a lot of people. So I'm super stoked to eat those later. Finley, how you doing up here? Hi, honey. You just hanging out. Finley is super excited to go to the sandbar today. I'm so oh, happy. Oh, goodness. Oh. Nikki's got crabs. <laughs> Damn it, Cooper. I told you what you were getting into. <laughs> once you honestly once you get pinched by one you're like so hesitant it ruins it yeah you, you do get traumatized she had a and her fingernails got like broken last year like it was like you could see where it got pinched. That, that's what she was ah! <laughs> it's cool. so violent you don't realize how much force is in such a little claw oh. it's wild I'm pretty I sure. It's yeah. Right, I don't know. <laughs> yes. All right. So, take 5, this one. Kelvin. <laughs> Dude, I love getting crushed by 5,000 pounds. Science. Innovation is exciting. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. I will let you guys know there is nothing better than fresh stone crab caught the same day. <laughs> Boiled for six to seven minutes, dipped in butter with a little bit of Old Bay. Woo, so good. All right, go ahead and drop her. Nice form. Beautiful. This one's a little bit on the water. trade you hand me the camera you take my milk there we go <laughs> you guys already know I had to get a little bit of coffee with my dessert here so here in Key West apparently the key lime pie is like the thing because it's key lime keys and Florida keys and it's pie so um, this little giraffe place headed out of Island Mirada if you're headed out or into the keys they have this chocolate dipped pie and I think it's frozen it's like a thing it's super super sweet it's delicious that's all that matters it's <laughs> delicious you have to stop here it's super super sweet so I only eat like four bites of it but let me recap on this trip right now because we are 
ending this video, but we did the best we could with what we had. The weather was definitely not in our favor, but this morning was even worse. So we came like the two perfect days this week. What is, that? is that a real bird? I don't know if that was the... No, that's a real bird. No, it's fake. It's, it's fake? fake. Yeah. <laughs> I literally thought that was it a real bird. Cool. For real. I have chocolate in my teeth. Anyways. We did make an amazing dinner. Well, I didn't do anything. I sat up on the couch and put this microcurrent machine on my ankle to try to heal it because in three weeks, we're going to the Bahamas and I need to spearfish by then. We made this amazing, amazing meal. It was stone crab mac and cheese. And then they made the noodles of the mac and cheese in the stock broth of the stone oh crabs, gosh, so good. which was amazing with a steak. So a nice hearty meal to end a nice chilly day in Key West after diving. Don't so. be throwing that pie at the camera. I talk with my hands a lot and I don't have a hand to talk with, so I'm talking with my pie. <laughs> but be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a positive comment below, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Adios, amigos. Close it out with your hand.